Hey, I'm Sherry Bolden with the Health Coach Superhero, and I am so excited to bring you a healthy tip today. My topic is protein. So I was really interested in presenting this information because I had a conversation with a friend about protein, and it was really significant to me because she happens to be a nurse. And so what happened is another friend decided that they were going to go plant-based in their diet because they were having some health concerns, and she asked, as a nurse, you know, are you eating a lot of beans to take you make sure you're getting your protein? And he replied, well, not really, but, you know, I don't think I'll have a problem. I think I'll have enough protein. So I was a little bit facetious with her, and I said, okay, you're a nurse. You actually work in an emergency room, and I want to ask you, how many people come into the emergency room and perhaps are admitted to the hospital with protein deficiency? And she's like, all right, okay, I get it, Sherry. No one. I said, okay, great. But why did you ask that question? Well, we, t we, tend, to, we tend to ask that question and we want to know because that's what we've been told we should be consuming. But I'm here today to kind of clarify that information for you so that you'll know that protein is actually not the main thing, the main thing that we need in our diet. But then I asked the nurse, how much protein do we really need per day? And as a nurse, she actually didn't know the answer, but that's okay because I'm happy to share that information with you guys today and let you know that per, what per day you require as an adult male and as an adult female. So as an adult female, we need about 56 grams of protein per day. As an adult male, we need about 65 grams of protein per day. So, what does that look like? Well, most people are getting that in the first meal of the day. If they're having eggs and bacon, a little toast, maybe oatmeal, you know, variety of, of foods, uh, they're getting it in their breakfast. If you eat lunch or dinner and you have about a four ounce size of meat, more than likely it's gonna be bigger than that, probably six ounces to eight ounces of meat, whether it's chicken or beef or fish, there's your protein. All you need is about four ounces of animal protein to cover your daily requirement for protein. But why is all this information out there about protein? Well, it's been designed that way so that we can buy more protein powders. It really, the requirements really aren't that we have protein throughout the day. But I know a lot of people want to consume protein, especially in the afternoon, because they feel like it gives them a little bit of energy, which is true. But in terms of requirements or even protein deficiency, for women, it is 56 grams per day. For men, it's about 65, 66 grams per day, which really is definitely taken care of in one meal. Now, for a person who's plant-based, how are they getting their protein? The awesome thing is that protein, little bit of protein exists in a, a lot of products, such as beans, as we know, chickpeas, lentils, those types of things, as well as grains, quinoa, brown rice, and you actually get a little protein in dark green leafy vegetables. If you check out my previous vegetable um, video about eating green leafy vegetables throughout the day, you'll see that. But basically, there's not a lack of deficiency or a deficiency in protein in our diets, whether we're meat-based or plant-based. So, Let's think about eating a more balanced diet where we're eating a rainbow of food, which would include all colors, where we're going to get all the nutrients that our body needs. So eating a rainbow of food is more important than worrying about and concerning ourselves with protein because the hospitals are not filled with protein deficient patients. However, they are filled with people who are not getting enough nutrients. So we want to be looking at a nutrient dense meal Every day, if we eat three times a day, some people eat five times a day, it's nutrient density that's more important. And if you look up the ANDI score, which is A-N-D-I, the Aggregated Nutrient Density Index, you can see what foods have more nutrients than others. And this is a scale that rates, measures calories versus nutrients. So, and I know that dark green leafy vegetables ranks really high. So there you are. Protein is not the most important thing in our diet. Make sure that we have nutrient-dense foods and 
then we'll stay healthy. So that's my tip for today. Please like and subscribe to my videos. I'm Sherry with the Health Coach Superhero.